Hello folks. Well, it's been a while since I picked up any new equipment. Probably about, uh, I'd say six months since I got that big refractor. But, but it's time and what I did, I got a brand new camera. So the reason I bought the ASI 183mm is that I wanted a dedicated camera for the moon and the sun. Um, my ASI 1600 would have been great for those objects. But the problem is I'm always in the middle of a deep sky object and I don't want to take my camera off one scope to put it on another scope to do the moon or anything like that. I don't want to interrupt my deep sky stuff because then when I put the camera back on I got to make sure the framing is is close enough. I got to might have to I'll have to recapture flats again. I, it's, it's just easier if I have a dedicated camera and I was thinking about the ASI 174 um, for that task. But the, the 183 seems to be the newer camera. It's got a higher resolution, smaller pixel size. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to try the 183. And I didn't get the cooled version. I only I got the non-cooled uh, because I'm not going to be doing any deep sky with this camera. Even though I've heard some people say they even want to replace their 1600 with the 183 cooled camera. Like, really? So a lot of people think highly of this new camera. But I'm only going to be doing solar system objects, mainly the, the moon and the sun. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's everything that's in the box. The camera, the cover, uh, a flat cable USB cord. I haven't really seen one of these before. That's interesting. Uh, a nose piece, a cap for the nose piece. And a little ring adapter and a lot of people don't know what this ring adapter is for but what you can do with this is you can actually thread it right onto the camera and then you can actually thread on a light pollution filter or HA filter whatever you want to do so that's a cool little piece they give you there and that's it uh, there's no software included in in the box so you'll have to get whatever you need like the drivers online and I'm not sure if I even have to install drivers. Uh, I'm not sure if the drivers I already have on my laptop for ZWO also uh, it include uh, the 183 software. So uh, we'll see. And uh, stay tuned. I'm sure uh, next time you see me doing the, the moon or the sun, it'll be with this camera. So uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. And I will see you later.